Hello and welcome everyone. This is Ahmed Al Yamani, Product Evangelist in Sitecore. In this video, I'll talk about Sitecore personalized web experiments in the Play Summit demo. Before diving into the demo, I'd like to give a quick introduction on what's an experiment and how it's useful for your marketing strategy. From an English dictionary point of view, experiments are the actions, processes, of trying new ideas, methods, or activities to discover the best approach to create innovation or to achieve something new. Sitecore adopts this definition and it adds to it the speed and the purpose factors. So the objective of testing in Sitecore context becomes discovering the best approaches to achieve customer impact across multiple channels through trying different experiences and offers. These optimum approaches are named winning experiences that can be applied on wider scales. A-B testing enables you to use data to justify and test the decisions you are about to make. For example, you would be able to test which products offering increase probability a certain user buy your product. Would it be the long or the short form visitors prefer to complete a registration? In short, A-B testing enables data-driven decisions without depending on personal biases. I'll go now to the Play Summit demo application to showcase a web upselling experiment. The experiment is testing two alternative offers. It's trying to explore which one of two variants can be more impactful in converting already customers to buy premium tickets. This is the Play Summit demo website in a new incognito browser. We have built a site core personalized web experiment for upselling VIP tickets. It detects when a visitor who previously bought a regular ticket is now browsing a premium session page. Then it shows an offer to encourage the user to purchase a premium ticket. To stimulate this experience, I'll first buy a regular ticket. This can be done through either the demo kiosk application or on the website. Then, I'll visit a premium session page. After 5 seconds on the page, the web experiment is displayed. Clicking on the Call to Action button navigates to the Payment page for the VIP ticket upgrade item. Let's see how this web experiment is built in Sitecore Personalize. This is Sitecore Personalize. Web experiments are under Experiments menu. I'll open the VIP ticket upsell experiment and go to the Build tab. Let's briefly talk about each of the sections of the web experiment. Firstly, the variants section. In a web experiment, we must have two or more variants. We have created two for this one. For each experiment, we have a test group and a control group. For this experiment, we have allocated 100% of traffic to be subject to the experiment. When it comes to the percentage of traffic allocated to each variant of this experiment, we choose a 50-50 split between the two variants. Each variant can have a completely different look and feel, or content, or just small changes. In this experiment, we only change the left image to differentiate between the two experiments. Variants can be previewed on the website when the web experiment is in any status, live, draft, or post, while variance code can be viewed in any status. It can only be edited in draft or post status. We are allowing the marketing professionals to edit title text and button title. The two variants are different in the image they're displaying. This variant has a celebrating player, while the other variant has a rally car. The next section is page targeting. Page targeting optionally allows to show the web experiment only in certain pages. It can be configured using either the UI editor or written in JavaScript in the advanced targeting section. The UI editor provides set of conditions to be evaluated at page load at the visitor's browser. In this React application, however, where root changes are not full page loads, we had to use custom JavaScript advanced targeting to re-evaluate the page on every React root change. To show also the ability of customizing this code, we have added here the 5 seconds delay before showing the web experiments to the visitors. 
Our page targeting here ensures this experiment is shown only to the premium session page visitors. The following section is audience. Audience optionally allows you to show the web experiment to a certain audience. It's evaluated on the site core personalized server side, and there are two options to configure the audience. The first one was site core CDB segment that is updated once every day. The second way to choose audience is through the real time audience section as JavaScript code that is executed each time the web experiment is evaluated. We want to upsell VIP ticket only to guests owning regular ticket. To do that, we store the own ticket in guest data extensions. To show this experiment to visitors who just bought their ticket, we use real time JavaScript audience to evaluate visitors ticket conditions. Following is decisioning. Decisioning optionally allows to run complex logic, to call external services, or to compute data, or to choose the next best action to show in the web experiment. We are not using decisioning in our web experiments so far. We intend to use it in future web experiments. Goals are very important component to give a significant meaning to your experiment. However, it's still an optional component. It allows you to set a goal to measure the success of your web experiment. When you set a goal for an experiment, you will start to get data in the performance dashboard. For this experiment, we set our goal to the page view of the payment confirmation page for the VIP ticket upgrade. After the experiment runs for enough time and collected statistically significant data, a winning experience is declared where you can use it for personalization and start new A-B testing. To summarize, throughout this video, we have gone over Sitecore Play Summit demo website. We have seen Sitecore personalized stream API enables real-time behavior tracking, for example. Inside Sitecore Personalize, we have covered the main components to build the web experiment, A-B testing, and shown how business users can easily configure and review web experiments before going live. For more details on how to request your Play Summit demo instance, you can access demo repository at github.com slash sitecore slash sitecore.demo.edge Thank you for watching this episode of Sitecore Play Summit demo series and see you in next videos.